We are having a day. We are having a day. So, uh, last night we got rear ended by a drunk driver. Our battery died when we made a stop at 7 Eleven. We got a jump for that battery. Battery died again. We got a jump this morning. Ran some errands. Thought we were going to have some juice. Battery. Car won't start now. So, looks like we need a new battery. Um, I just, I just love how when you become an adult, you know, money is just constantly going. Going, 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 going. And it comes, but damn, boy does it go. So, yeah. I'm just loving life right now. Hopefully, once I get the new battery, everything's gonna be okay. We are late, but we are still on our way to Lex's baby shower. We would have been there by now had we not had the car trouble. But Detrice is gonna save the day and she's gonna drop us off. I look, I feel like I look a little wrecked. I am wearing my jacket that I wore on my birthday, the shoes that my mommy bought me, and these really cute jeans. I'll give a full body when I get somewhere. But uh, yeah, didn't really do the makeup thing today. Um, brush through the lashes, lip gloss, brush through the brows, sunscreen. A little concealer. That's it. And that's it for me for now. I'm okay. Just trying to hold this shit together. This crazy little thing that we call life. All right, I'll see y'all in the next clip. So we just left our lash appointment and I had to give y'all a little close up. What do we think? I added spikes. I I don't be knowing what the fuck I be doing sometimes. Like I thought we did spikes last time. So it's a little different, but I think they're cute. Don't mind my hair right now. It looks a mess, but yeah, we got our lashes done today. This is a new set because we had to take the old ones off. Like we just need a whole new set. So what do we think? I'm going to link her information again below and I'll put her handle across the screen like I did the last time, but I think she ate with these, you know. So I typically book the hybrid set and this is the final result. I like it. I love it when I get my lashes done. It just makes me feel like the best version of myself. And same thing when I get my hair done. I need to do something to my hair. I got approved for the apartment. So that's big news. We got approved for our apartment. We move in next month. Actually, we literally move in in like two and a half weeks, I feel like. Like a little over two weeks. A little under three weeks we're gonna be moving in so I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride for that but yes we did get approved for that apartment we were hunting for last month so yeah we're gonna be doing a move-in vlog I'm gonna be doing like an unfurnished apartment tour and then I'm gonna show you guys all my little updates and DIY projects that I plan on doing because I'm gonna have my housewarming in June so yeah, I'm going to take you guys along on the journey with me, and I am looking forward to it. I am so ready for this chapter, so ready to turn my home into my personal sanctuary and have guests over and just kind of do all the things, you know, that the girls do, you know, like on girlfriends and like living single. Like, I just can't wait to host parties and just have people over and just relax at home by myself like I just I just can't wait like I want to be one of those people that never leaves the house and my home is going to show why I never leave the house 
But yeah, I am about to go get ready for work. We got a long day or a long night ahead of us. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hi, just got our hair done. Actually, we didn't just get it done. We got it done a few hours ago. But what do we think? What do we think? We literally move into our new apartment in less than a week. It is Tuesday. We move in next Monday. So I'm super excited. This has been a long time coming, y'all. If you know, you know. And I'm just so excited to start this new chapter and really branch out and really do the things that I've really been wanting to do, especially now that I'm in my 30s and just celebrate life, live life to the fullest and really enjoy adulthood. Because if you think about it, the first decade of your life, you're still underneath your parents. And then the next decade, so from like let's say 11 to 20, 11 to 21, you're still heavily reliant on your parents, in most cases, or whoever raised you. You are very reliant, you you don't know much, and you're navigating your 20s, right? You're still figuring things out. There were things, I don't think I finally started thinking like an adult until I was 27. And that was like the first time I like moved out. And I mean like moved out, like not an on-campus apartment that I'm paying for, no, like moved out and moved out of state. Like when you leave your hometown, you learn the most about yourself, I feel. You learn so many things. And being on my own, like navigating the world on my own, I think that really made me grow up and really made me think of like life and like what life can be and it wasn't as glamorous as I thought it was gonna be like living on my own it kind of for me even though I'm a Capricorn I got a little lonely I, I think I was sad I think I was homesick whatever that means and now that I'm back home you know dynamics have changed family dynamics have changed my mom doesn't live here my brother doesn't live here you know things are just different and I kind of am navigating this new space on my own once again, but I'm 30 and I have a new outlook on life and I'm just really excited. I, I'm so excited to finally have my own place that I can turn into my own sanctuary. And don't get me wrong, my best friend has been the greatest roommate. She has been so kind to me and yeah, but I really feel like I'm just... I'm just ready. Like I'm ready to branch out. I'm ready to decorate and you know, turn my place into my own personal sanctuary. It's gonna be one of those places where I'm not going out because I'm in the house because it's I'm just so comfortable with being at home. So that is what you guys are gonna get to see from me next. You're gonna see me moving in. So I am just, my heart is full and I will be posting my registry if anyone would like to help a sister out because things are expensive, okay? And single black woman here, like, we gotta do what we gotta do. But I can't wait to take you guys on this journey. Like, you're gonna get to see me DIY things and like decorate and I'm just really ready for this chapter. Like, dating in my 30s, navigating that space, navigating like, not being in corporate America anymore and being a server like I never thought I would be doing this but I actually enjoy it a lot actually it's it has its days like any job but for the most part it's it's kind of lit I I wish well actually no I don't wish I would have started with it because I would have never 
become the Vernet that I am. I would have never done the things that I've done and I don't think I would appreciate it as much now had I done it before. So I think I got another year of this in me and then hopefully we're just a full-time content creator, influencer, what have you. But I think I've done enough chatting and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Out to Lorna's birthday dinner. And this is what I look like. I'm gonna show you guys full body later when I'm out and about. Yeah. I just got off work. I did like the softest, quickest little beat. Lorna was cursing me out because I was late, obviously, because I worked today. And she's late. She's not even left her house. So, she's going to be an hour late to her own event, and I'm going to be an hour late to her event. So yeah, this one is for you, Lorna. I am so happy that we met, and I think you're such a bright light, and I absolutely love and adore you, and I am so glad that we're friends, and I hope that we continue to be friends because you are such a light. <laughs> So magnetic, so beautiful. Just thank you. Your friendship means so much to me. I literally adore you. And I really hope that being the big 2A just really opens your eyes to what life is about. And also, I just hope you have so much success, so much abundance, and just so much love because you are you are love literally you are love you are just the sweetest soul i'm so grateful that we met and i'm so glad that we're friends <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
falling off lately Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm down by this In your heart you keep trying And the truth is I hide That's just the way we are But can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that that's the one, that's the one. But I love what we make up like that. That's the one. But maybe we just felt like that. Yeah, maybe we just felt like that. Sounds I don't want you around. You do something to make me smile. And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling. Okay. 